Only on Local 10, South Florida rapper Kodak Black released from jail early this morning. And only our cameras were there as he walked out of jail with a new name and a GED. Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright has the exclusive from Fort Lauderdale. Madeline. Nikki and Todd, this man is a rapper with a long rap sheet. Kodak Black most recently ended up here in jail after he was arrested and charged with child neglect. In the past, he's also been charged with battery and robbery. With all of these arrests, it's unclear what kind of effect it'll have on his musical career and his record label. Exclusive video from Local 10 shows Kodak Black leaving the main jail in Broward County Saturday morning after he spent seven months behind bars, one man running up to give him a hug. The 21-year-old rapper was arrested in January after an incident at his Pembroke Pines home. Police say three men were in Kodak Black's bathroom on social media broadcasting drug use, showing off weapons around a child. An individual not only... Uh, rolling a marijuana cigarette, but blowing it right right there in front of the child's face. Kodak Black was charged with child neglect, grand theft of a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and marijuana possession. Here's what his lawyer told us at the time. This is, of course, a setback. Some of the charges were dropped, but Kodak Black remained in jail for violating probation. He was scheduled to be released in October, but his release date was moved up to August. Even though he's out of jail, his legal troubles aren't over just yet. He has a pending sexual conduct case out of South Carolina. He also has a lengthy rap sheet. Kodak was arrested twice in 2016 in Broward County. He was also arrested in 2015 in Pompano Beach on charges of robbery and false imprisonment. Kodak Black made some major changes while he was in jail. He earned his General Equivalency Diploma, or GED, and he also legally changed his name to Bill D, uh, that is Bill K. Capri. He says that his first job, his first stop now that he's a free man, is to go to his mother's house so he can see his son. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.